Hi students, I hope you are preparing well for your exam. Let us start today's session NEET preparation series day 3. This in video includes previous year NEET and APMT questions. Today's chapter is periodic table and its properties. See this chapter and chemical bonding chapter. Uh, these are these two chapters are the easiest chapters in inorganic chemistry and questions comes from this chapter these chapters so chemical bonding also one of the best chapter more questions will come what you do is what whenever whatever time you have when you are free just make uh, important uh, points notes or otherwise just uh, do the revision like how the tr about trends how atomic radius varies in case of uh, left to right in the periodic table or top to bottom what are the exceptions ionization energy how it varies electronegativity electron affinity go through these things really it helps you see the first question the correct order of atomic radii in group 13 elements is See what is an atomic radius? I am going to solve these questions in an easiest way. Just to see how I am going to solve. Nucleus and there is a first shell. For example, there is a second shell. Here electron is present. The distance between the nucleus and the electron where it is present in outermost shell, we can call it as an atomic radius. In at atomic radius, how atomic radius varies in case of groups? In case of groups, first first element, for example, if you see, it will be having one shell. Next, two shells it have. It will be having th three shells. From top to bottom, if you see, number of shells increases. Whenever number of shells increases, distance between the nucleus and the valence shell electron also increases. So that whenever distance increases, attraction between the nucleus and the electron decreases. And then size will be, obviously, size will be more. I already discussed in one of the video. That's why I'm not teaching you so slowly. Then what happens in case of uh, uh, groups? What happens to size? Boron, for example, see. Third A, boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium. Top to bottom, size increases due to increase in number of shells. Simply to say. Right. Then what is the radius order? Tell me. Thallium will be having more than indium. Next, gallium. Next, aluminium. Next, boron. But, aluminium electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. And same way, gallium electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p1. And here what I want to say is in case of gallium 3D is there that to 3D is completely filled and whenever D orbitals are there D orbitals are double dumbbell diffuse it has diffused lobes lobes are diffused in the sense lobes are big. When our lobes are big, they cannot act like a good, they can't show a good screening effect. Means, whenever nucleus is here and here, these d orbitals are there, due to its poor shielding, this nucleus attracts the valential electron easily. So, that size will decrease. What happens to them? Size will decrease. Then, Gallium will be having less size, small size when compared to aluminium. Why? Due to the poor shielding effect of d orbitals, electrons, d orbitals. Then, what is the correct order? This comes here, this will come here. Thallium, indium, aluminium, next gallium, next one is boron. This is the correct order. Why? Due to poor shielding effect of d orbitals in gallium. Then what is your correct answer? This is a correct option. Boron, gallium, aluminium, indium, that important. Let us see the next question. Which of the following oxides is more acidic in nature? I will tell you a small trick to solve this question. Electronegativity of central atom increases Acidic nature also increases. What students? Electronegativity of central atom increases. Acidic nature of, it, of its oxide also increases. Then tell me beryllium, magnesium, calcium, barium, strontium. See? 
strontium barium right beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium what happens down the group atomic radius increases atomic radius almost you can say electronegativity are inversely related so electronegativity decreases then which is having more electronegativity beryllium is having more electronegativity it will be having small size and more electronegativity clear then which oxide is having more acidic nature beryllium oxide is having more acidic nature see the 2017 question the element z equal to 114 has been discovered recently it will belong to which of the following family group and electronic configuration uh, like this uh, four different options is given with the different electronic configurations of different elements i'll tell you a small trick to solve this question see just add the to get the atomic number what you can do just add this 2 8 18 18 32 32 For example, I'll write the elements. See, students, carbon, nitrogen family is given, oxygen, fluorine family. Carbon family, carbon atomic number. What is atomic number six? To get the next element, actually, carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead. Right? In this uh, periodic uh, table, in this chapter, you should know all the elements. First thing, and next one is you should know the you should have an idea of electronic configurations also. Once go through that and atomic tra periodic trends, you should know how it varies in case of uh, periods and uh, groups. Learn that also. Carbon, how much number you should add? Eight. If you add eight to the atomic number of six, then what you'll get? Six plus eight, fourteen. You'll get the next element atomic number. So follow this trend and add uh, next uh, to this element again. Add eighteen. Fourteen plus eighteen, thirty-two. So germanium atomic number thirty-two. Again thirty-two. Add eighteen. You'll get fifty. Next, add thirty-two. You'll get how much? Fifty plus thirty-two, eighty-two. Next, again, you will add thirty-two to this. Then you will get one one four is an element. Eighty-two plus thirty-two. So, atomic number one one four means it belongs to which family? Students, carbon family. Up to this question. Then, what is your correct answer? Carbon family, first option. And the element is flavorium. Flavorium. And its symbol is Fl. Let us see the next question. Two thousand seventeen over, right? And I'll give you one test yourself. The species argon, potassium ion, and calcium ion contain the same number of electrons. In which order do their radii increases? This question is from isoelectronic species. Isoelectronic species. See students, this is one of the important concept. Very is an important concept. The questions from this topics asked in see nineteen ninety three, ninety six, ninety seven, two thousand three, two thousand seven, ten, fourteen, fifteen. These many times the questions came from this isoelectronic species. Okay, so learn this concept. I'll tell you a small trick. Now I'm not going to discuss the concept. Just I'll give you the trick to solve this question. whenever you remove the electron just what you do is when you remove the electron what happens is size decreases what happens size decreases when you remove electron remove electron more electrons you remove more decrease in the size when you add electron size increases simple concept now solve the question from this calcium What are iso? I what is the meaning of iso? Iso means same species which are having same number of electrons. We call it as isoelectronic species. Let us see argon, potassium, calcium. Eighteen electrons, nineteen electrons, twenty electrons because atomic number eighteen, nineteen, twenty. But argon, potassium ion is given, calcium ion is given. Means how many electrons you have to remove from this one electron? Because one electron is removed. Eighteen. It's already eighteen. Then if you remove two electrons from this, then you will get eighteen. These three are isoelectronic species. And coming to this, what they are asking? What is the order? If you remove what I told you, if you remove more number of electrons, then more will be the decrease in the size. Here you remove two electrons. 
from this two electrons removed here only one electron is removed so in this case what will what will happen more is the decrease in the size it is having less size then it is having more size this is a trend but here they are asking in which do their radii increase na no? increasing order this is a decreasing order so increasing order is this one what is the concept behind this for example oxygen o minus o plus see here oxygen atomic number is 8 so it is having 8 protons and 8 electrons listen carefully when you add one more electron to this protons remains same when you remove the electron also proton remains same when you remove one electron what happens students here when you add one electron it will be having seven electrons and it will be having how many electrons for example it will be having no eight electrons and it will be having nine electrons and it will be having seven electrons because you remove you removed one electron and in this case all are having same nucleus power but here eight protons are attracting eight electrons fine but here eight protons are attracting eight electrons one electron is extra when our one electron is extra it its size will be more clear but in this case what happens is eight seven protons are in attraction with seven electrons and one proton is more means nucleus power is more so that size will be small that is the reason whenever electrons are removed size decreases because nucleus power is more nucleus power is more and whenever you add an electron less protons will attract more electrons so that nucleus power will be less and the size will be more power is less so what is the trick students whenever remove an electron size decreases when you add an electron size increases this is the trick let us see the next question from 2014 Which of the following order of ionic radii is correctly represented? This question is also from the same topic. H minus H plus H C hydrogen. How many electrons it will be having? Hydrogen only one electron. You H plus if you remove that no electrons. One elec one proton one electron. In this case only one proton no electrons and H minus. it will be having one proton and two electrons tell me what happens when you add an electron when you add an electron size increases so it will be having more size when compared to parent atom and when you remove an electron <coughs> size will decrease so it is it will be h plus is having less size when compared to parent atom so this is the correct order in this it will be having correct order and next to see the other options O two minus electron. All these are isoelectronic species. In this case, O two minus oxygen electrons are added, so it should have more size. But in this option, it is given less size, so this option is incorrect. And in this three, O two minus more negative charge, more electrons are added, it should have more, but it is given wrong. In this in this case, negative charge, it should have more odd, more ionic radii, but it is given least, so it is also incorrect option. Clear. Next question from two thousand thirteen. Which one of the following arrangements represents the correct order of least negative to most negative electron gain enthalpy for carbon, calcium, aluminium, fluorine, and oxygen? Is asked. So what you should do is write the elements: beryllium, magnesium. Easy way I am teaching you: boron, aluminium. Uh, boron is not given no carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine which is given still calcium sorry beryllium magnesium calcium boron aluminum mm -hmm. now round off what elements are given in the question fluorine is given carbon oxygen is given calcium aluminum left to right electronegativity increases top to bottom electronegativity decreases in a group and period in the periodic table so which is having more electronegativity students fluorine next oxygen next carbon next aluminum next calcium this is the order so what is your correct option fourth option is the correct next see these questions this is a just go through this question next this is one more question and 
this is one more question these three questions try these three questions i'm going to give answer in the next video test yourself video i hope you like this video thanks for watching